Hi. I'm going to show you how to make shotgun slugs and drop those high prices of $20 for a box of 25 to about $6 for a box of 25 So if you're a loader and you know how to cast bullets, let's get right to it. Well, the first thing you'll need is a fireplace. And if you don't have a fireplace, just start a fire in your backyard and get some wood and stuff. You don't need coal to melt lead. That's pretty easy to melt. Next thing you'll need is a ladle, cast iron ladle to melt the lead in. Uh, you'll need some lead. And this lead you can just get from scrap yards, from tires. Uh, it's pretty soft lead, pure lead. It works okay for clinking around and stuff. If you want a harder lead, you can go down to a reloading store or whatever and buy yourself 25 pounds of lead BBs. And uh, just melt those down and use them as melt them into slugs. Uh, you can individually weigh it into 500 grains and uh, then you can have a precise amount, you know, weight for the bullets. Uh, 500 grains is about as much as I use. It uh, works pretty good. You can go up to 550. 600 is pushing it. Uh, if you get too heavy, you may blow your gun up because more compression and it's dangerous. So 500 is pretty safe. Stick with 500. It's more than an ounce. Uh, and so it works pretty good. Um, next thing you'll need is your mold. Uh, this is fuzz board. Uh, you can use pine. Uh, the bullets aren't as soft and smooth if you use pine, but if you use fuzz board, it works pretty good. Uh, and just make sure that you know you can draw a little line or something in there so you know that you're getting precise every single time. Uh, and make sure it's 500, 550. Just make sure you're not ex exceeding over what your gun can take. Um, and 500 grains is probably as much as you want to use. Uh, this actually, if you fill it all the way to the top, it's about 600 grains. And I don't know what that is, about an inch, I guess. And that's a 5 8 inch hole. 5 8 inch hole, and, uh, and that works. And just drill it all the way through on a press. Make sure they're straight. So you want to use a good press. Make sure it's, make sure it's straight. And uh, they that's pretty much it. Um, but make sure that every single one is pretty precise. If you want to be really precise, take the BBs, weigh them out, 500 grains a piece on your scale, and then melt them individually, and you have exactly 500 grains. And that's more precise than you can get the bullets in the store. That's more precise than the bullets are in the store. It's real precise. So, but you don't need to do that with shotguns. But if you want to, you can. So um, let's start making some bullets. I use an anvil. It's pretty good. You can use anything, a piece of wood, a uh, flat piece of steel. doesn't matter. Just make sure it's flat. Put one side flash, flush down on there. Uh, uh, take your lead. And uh, start pouring. That was a little too heavy. A little too heavy there. If you want, you can make hollow points. You just use a nail and stick it in the top while it's still while it's still uh, drying. Well, it'll start still hardening before it's hardened. It's already hardened. It hardens pretty fast. And uh, it's about done. Knock it out. And there's your bullet. Now that you know how to make your own lead bullets, uh, this is one way you can reload it. Now it depends on what kind of reloading machine you have. You could have a press or whatever, but this is what I use. Shotgun shell that's been used. Knock out the old primer. And 
put in a new primer. I use Winchester primers, 209. Pretty hot primer. Get the new primer in there. Now the gunpowder I use is Hercules Unique, which actually they've changed their name now. It's a Lyant Unique gunpowder. Uh, very common. And then you take your wad. This is a double A wad, 12 gauge double A wad. And then take the slug that we just made, put it in there. It in, fits in there pretty good. Now we're going to crimp it down. There's your shotgun slug. Pretty simple. Well, now that you know how to make your own shotgun slugs, I'm sure you're anxious to get out there and make some. Well, before you do that, I want to tell you a few precautions. Remember, the lead is very, very toxic. It can cause terrible cancer. And be very careful. Just you know, wear gloves when you're handling lead. And if you have to handle it, be sure you wash your hands with good quality soap because it's very toxic and try not to breathe too many fumes in and also keep in mind that if your rifle has rifling inside of it you may not want to make these slug bullets and use them in your gun this is a Springfield 67 and I've used lots of slug bullets in it and it works fine there's no rifling in the barrel and they're very accurate I can hit targets a long ways away with them and they're pretty precise, every single one. So, now that you know how to make them, go ahead and start making some. And uh, keep, be safe and uh, have fun.